Space is vast, mysterious, and has fascinated humans from the beginning of time to the modern advancement of technology. Yet, as more technological advancements related to space exploration are achieved, there is still little we know about the vast universe. Even the little we know can be very terrifying, from black holes that can devour stars to the possibility of a cosmic collision. These terrifying facts are both awe-inspiring and chilling. Get ready to be shocked by the sheer scale and danger that exists in space, somewhere beyond our planet. Asteroids, also called minor planets, are rocks left over when the planets in our solar system were formed billions of years ago. In between Mars and Jupiter, there's a belt of asteroids that Jupiter's gravity holds in place. However, occasional changes in Jupiter's gravity mean that asteroids escape the asteroid belt and flow out of the solar system or inwards toward us. These rocky objects vary in size. Some can be as big as 329 miles or 530 kilometers in diameter. Others can be car-sized or big enough to destroy a city. Every year, minor-sized asteroids sneak into the Earth. Most burn up in the atmosphere before reaching the ground. However, sometimes they don't all burn up and they hit the ground. These are called meteorites. In February 2013, a meteor exploded before hitting the surface in Chelyabinsk, Russia, injuring multiple people. This is terrifying and proves that space is constantly throwing stones at us. Do you know Andromeda, our nearest giant galaxy? Andromeda Galaxy. No other collection of stars reaches as close to our local Milky Way as the Andromeda Galaxy. Located in the eponymous constellation Andromeda, the distance between us and the spiral galaxy is about 2.5 million light years. Well, like a good neighbor, it wants to pay a visit. The spiral galaxy travels 68 miles or 110 kilometers per second on a collision course toward us. It's not an impossible scenario to say that it could collide with our own galaxy. Galaxies collide with each other often. In fact, scientists believe that the Andromeda galaxy has crashed into at least one different galaxy. Thankfully, Andromeda is 2.5 million light years away from Earth. That means, if it's traveling at the speed of light, it will take 2.5 million years to reach Earth. But it's not traveling at the speed of light, so it is estimated that the collision will occur in approximately 4 billion years. To make things worse, Andromeda has a companion galaxy called the Triangulum Galaxy. This will join in the collision later on and perhaps merge with the Andromeda Milky Way pair. Scientists say it's unlikely that the stars in the galaxies will collide, but some may get knocked off the galaxy. Our sun has an atmosphere called a corona. It has a beautiful name, yet deadly force. The sun's atmosphere blasts off massive plasma and magnetic fields called coronal mass ejections. These often occur with solar flares, but scientists are still deciding on the relationship between solar flares and mass ejections. Although the sun is 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers away, these ejections can still reach the Earth. This is going to happen someday, when the sun gets bigger. So, how is it dangerous? This ejection can reach the Earth's magnetosphere and cause auroras, geomagnetic storms, and damage to the electrical grid and appliances. 
This storm means that if a sufficient ejection hits the Earth just right, we'll have a global blackout. The largest such recorded event was in 1859. Also known as the Carrington Event, the ejection destroyed parts of the United States Telegraph Network, shocked some staff, and started fires. The event was named after amateur astronomer Richard Carrington, who first observed it. People thought it was the end of the world, but Carrington's naked eyes had spotted the true cause of the bizarre happenings, a massive solar flare with the energy of 10 billion atomic bombs. Do you still think that space is awesome? Black holes have been the subject of many sci-fi movies, and rightly so because they boggle the mind. Black holes are terrifying because nothing escapes from them, not even light. But how were these black holes created? Scientists discovered that they are caused by the death of giant stars. When a star dies, it goes through many processes, including collapsing its core and sending a bright flash of energy into space. These processes create what is known as a supernova. A part of the core collapses, forming a very dense spot without volume. This dense spot with stunning gravitational pull is called a black hole. Black holes are massive. Scientists have recorded black holes that are a million times more massive than the sun, and they swallow entire galaxies that get close to them. There are millions of black holes in our galaxy. This shouldn't cause you to worry, as they are millions of light years away. We're safe for now. Another potential danger facing us could be Earth being in the kill zone of a supernova explosion. When a star dies, it results in a massive blast. Anything in its kill zone will be obliterated by intense radiation waves. Scientists predict that a supernova's kill zone can extend 40 to 50 light years away. Fortunately, we're not in imminent danger as we're more than 50 light years away from the nearest supernova. However, concern is still valid as effects from a supernova can be felt even 150 light years away. Several million years ago, a series of massive supernova explosions near our solar system showered the Earth with radioactive debris. The Iron 60 isotopes found in seabeds are the evidence that we were affected by such supernovae. Earth would have been exposed to an increased cosmic ray bombardment at that time, but fortunately, the radiation would have been too weak to cause direct biological damage or trigger mass extinctions. But if a supernova is to happen near Earth, intense gamma rays and high-energy X-rays from these distant supernovae can interact with our ozone layer and damage it. The ozone layer protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. If damaged, ultraviolet radiation from the sun will hit us violently. Many stars behave like vampires in popular culture and horror films, just like vampires sucking the life from humans. Vampire stars, on the other hand, are interested in sucking the life out of other stars. They are more formally known as O-type stars. O-type stars are blue stars that are bright and hot and emit ultraviolet light. They have a surface temperature of above 30,000 to 52,000 Kelvin. Although these sorts of stars are rare, their brightness means that they can be seen from a great distance. And although scientists are unsure how these stars formed, they have been observed in our galaxy. These stars stay young and hot by sucking hydrogen from other stars, a move that is sure to impress Dracula. 
However, unlike earthly vampires, O-type stars have very short lives. Due to their high mass, they often die in violent supernova explosions, creating neutron stars or black holes. These stars are usually found in areas where stars are still forming. The Sun is a massive ball of fire. It's so big that about 1.3 million Earths can fit into it. Yes, it's that big. However, our Sun is a local champion, as there are stars more extensive than it. For instance, VY Canis Majoris in the constellation Canis Major is about 1,420 times bigger than our Sun. If 1.3 million Earths can fit into our Sun, well, about 9.3 billion suns can fit into this star. And it's not the biggest star in space. Can you imagine this star anywhere close to us? Before we could build the International Space Station and explore space successfully, some things could have been improved. Some of these failures resulted in the deaths of astronauts. Before humans made it to space, animals like dogs and monkeys were sent to space first to test the viability of humans traveling to space safely. Laika, the dog, was the most popular animal sent to space. Still. Both Russia and the United States sent other animals before it. Admittedly, no dead humans are floating in space. However, because the capsules that took many of these animals to space are yet to be recovered, many people believe that they're still floating in space. It may look cool in movies, but extended periods of zero gravity can affect your mental and physical health. But the stomach-churning ride could spell trouble for some people. The loneliness and lack of human interaction can lead to anxiety and depression. Many astronauts who re-enter Earth have to go to therapy or take some time to readjust. Some astronauts also report cases of muscle atrophy because they're constantly floating. The zero-gravity environment doesn't exert pressure on their muscles. This inactivity makes the muscle die off from lack of motor function. We're not sure how it does this, but this attractive space anomaly attracts celestial bodies and even galaxies to themselves. The Great Attractor is a gravitational anomaly with a mass millions of times that of our Milky Way galaxy. Scientists have yet to determine precisely what causes this. They have also been unable to observe it as the Great Attractor is covered by our galactic plane and lies behind the zone of avoidance. However, we've observed its effects on the movement of galaxies stretching hundreds of millions of light years away. Our galaxy is included in this grouping. We, too, are moving towards the Great Attractor. Apart from its location and discovery period, we know very little about this phenomenon. Its mass is still a topic of debate. However, we know its gravitational pull is dragging other galaxies to it, the Milky Way included. It's about 150 to 200 million light years away, and our galaxy has been moving towards it for 13 billion years. Which of these facts is the most terrifying? Do you think that space can cause our extinction? Let me hear what you think in the comments section. These space facts might seem terrifying, but have you ever imagined a diamond planet? If not, then you need to see this video.